Hey there, this is James with e16.co and I'm going to be showing a quick uh, video how to get a Amazon AWS instance uh, set up with EC2 and the 21.co software. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get a EC2 instance up and running. So on AWS you just go to services, EC2, and what you want to do is create a new instance. Uh, what I'm going to choose here just for ease of use is the Ubuntu. Um, so I'm just going to select that. I'm going to choose the T2 micro instance, which is uh, free tier eligible. So if you haven't uh, set up an AWS account yet, um, you can pretty much get this thing running for almost for a full year uh, for free. So I'm just going to review and launch. I'm going to pick all the defaults. I'm going to create a new key pair. So the key pair is what allows you to authenticate against the um, VM. And um, you know this is a little bit more secure than having username and password. So I'm going to just call it demo. I'm going to download it. So it downloads to my um, Downloads folder is demo.pem. I'm going to launch the instance and it'll be running here in a minute. So you can go to EC2, you can see the instance running. Um, if you go to instances and you just got to get ready for it up to go. So this one up here, the one that says pending, still says initializing. So once it's up and running, we'll pick back up. All right, so our VM is up and running. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab the public IP address. And we are going to jump into the uh, terminal here and SSH into that uh, machine. So we'll do SSH-I uh, to point at the uh, PEM file that we downloaded. And we'll use the Ubuntu user at that public IP address. Uh, we've never seen this machine before, so it's asking do we want to trust it, sure. Um, and then the next thing we see, it's complaining about the permissions on the PEM file. So uh, since this is the credentials that we're using Connect, it's saying you need to lock those down. Uh, so we'll do chmod uh, 400 so that it's locked down and we'll point to the uh, downloads demo.pem file. And then we will run that same SSH command again. And we're logged into the box. Um, so from here, what we want to do is install the 21 software itself. So um, the way you run the 21 software is you always run 21 as the main per, uh, command. Um, and, you know, we'll see that that's not installed yet. So um, to get it installed, you just run this curl command. Um, and, you know, obviously you don't want to do this on a URL that you don't trust. Um, and it's you know, a little bit of a security uh, concern to basically pull code down from the internet and then run it in the shell script. In this case we're on a VM, we're not too worried about it, so we're just going to run it. Um, so this is going to take a little while to download and install all the packages, and we'll pick back up when it's done. Okay, so the 21 software has completed the installation, and we see right here it says run 21 login to start. Um, so if you just run the 21 by itself, it will list out all of the options for that command. Um, but we'll go ahead and run 21 login to get started here. Um, it says that I haven't created a Bitcoin wallet yet on this machine. Um, and so what it's done is it's generated a 12 word seed for the wallet. And this allows you to write these down um, offline. And if anything ever happens to the, to the machine, you can use these to recover your wallet. Obviously, I'm sharing these on the screen here, so I'm never going to put money into it. Uh, but that's what it's used for. So I'm going to say, okay, that's good to go. Um, and if you don't have a 21 account, you got to go to 21.co sign up. Um, and here they'll give you a big warning saying everything's beta uh, right now. And you have to jump through some hoops to prove that you're not trying to steal money from them. And once you get your account, you can come in here and I'll just put in mine, pool party, and my super secret password. Okay, so I'm into the 21 software, I'm logged in, and uh, one thing that you'll probably find yourself doing a lot just to sort of get a understanding of what things are running is you're in 21 status. 
and that will tell you um, the status of everything that's running on your services and and it'll show you your balances so um, this is saying my spendable buffer at 21.co is you know 500,000 satoshis so I've been selling services and running mining with them so I've built up a little bit of a stash here um, and this is not on the Bitcoin blockchain um, it also shows you the balance that you have on the blockchain so if I was to move money from my spendable buffer with 21.co onto the blockchain to that wallet that we created um, then it would show up here um, if you have any payment channels open or if you received money from payment channels uh, you, it'll show up here and then uh, you know you have the option to move satoshis from your buffer with them uh, to the blockchain and that sort of takes a while so if that was happening it would show up right here um, and so from here you're good to go you can start buying and selling services on the 21 platform uh, and that's what we will talk about in the next video thanks